Dr. Jacobs. Um, yeah, I'm not the one typically sending you these videos, but I really don't know who else to reach out to in this situation. Do you have to? It's Thursday, Tori. Dr. Jacobs said how important it is for you to not miss your weekly vlogs. It's really annoying sometimes, you know that? Say hi to Dr. Jacobs. Hi, Dr. Jacobs. All right, can we do this before I lose my nerve? Are you sure this is the right house? Yep, that's definitely Chateau Von Tempest. According to their alarm system, there should be people home too. All right, let's do this. Wait. What? This is the first time you'll be stepping outside since we left Shadow Hills. Why would you say that? Come on, Tori. You totally can do this. It's easy for you to say. We have to. For Abigail. All right, okay, 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 okay. This is what you've been waiting for, Dr. Jacobs. I'm about to step outside for the first time. <sighs> so basically, Uncle Peter and Aunt Victoria went to Salem to go meet with the Van Tempests because apparently they think they might know something because Abigail has been missing for a week. A week. No one has heard from her in a week. And so now Tori and Esther are grounded. They haven't left the house because they didn't tell anybody about Abigail's boyfriend. And everyone's confused and we really just want to find Abigail at this point. And it's so stupid because Tori and Esther think Courtney's the one behind it. Even though he's been completely cooperative with the police, has been very helpful, and has actually even tried to find Abigail. I just don't think he could have done it. Like, there's no way he could have done it. He's like a perfect human being. He couldn't have done it, okay? So now Tori and Esther are plotting to capture Courtney and find him in his tracks and stop him. And now I'm here freaked out because I think Tori and Esther are gonna get in a lot of trouble. Stop filming me. You think you'd be used to being on film by now. Go knock on the door. You go knock on the door. Esther! Looking for something. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so, um, Tori just told me that she found Courtney's relatives and she's following them somewhere to get information about Abigail. Okay, yeah, great idea. Fabulous. This is amazing. Are you kidding me? Is it on? We're rolling and action. Okay, would you repeat what you just said to me a minute ago, please? I know where your sister is. Who are you and how do you know that? Oh my god. No, 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 Okay, 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 yeah. So, um, Tori just texted me and told me she's with Vincent Van Tempest. Why do you want to help us? I'm not here to help you. I'm here to warn you. Okay, warn us. Aren't you like the scariest, biggest, most terrible Van Tempest? Pretty much, yes. But the longer we wait, the worse it'll be. Courtney will not be able to resist the urge to turn her. What? Courtney's cursed, like me. We have the thirst, but we also have our souls. Courtney's a vampire? Baller. Courtney's my son. Now please, let's get out of here. Esther, turn that off and get in the car. Wonderful idea, Tori. Let's just go with the enemy and go to his secret hideout. No, I just keep on telling her to not do it and she just keeps on going. Like, okay, I know people think that I'm crazy and they think I'm just crazy Ava on drugs again, but I'm not. I am for certain this is the worst idea ever. What is going on? Okay, why is this happening? Hey, I can totally find my sister if I go with someone that's a complete compulsive liar and a vampire. What a great idea! That sounds fabulous! I'm so excited for you. I'm honestly so happy. But the thing is, I'm not the crazy one anymore. Everyone thinks I'm the crazy one. Everyone thinks I see stuff. But no, it's real. I always know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm not insane. I'm really not. Am I? Excuse I don't know. Excuse me? I'm here to find Tori. Yeah, yeah. T T Tori's not here right now. Would you like to leave a message? You must be Ava. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I had... I, mean, uh, I didn't recognize you without the frosting on your face. Yeah. I'm looking for Tori and Esther. Bad news, my father is in town and he's kind of top tier bad guy, vampire, you don't want to be alone with him sort of thing. Yeah, and kind of even worse news, um, Tori and Esther are kind of with your dad right now. That is not good. Yeah, no, he told them that he knew where Abigail was, so they went with him. It's a trap. Obviously, it's a trap. We gotta go find him. Obviously, let's go! <sighs> Who is the crazy one now, Dr. Jacobs? Who is the crazy one now? Good? Yeah, he told them that he knew where Ava was, and um, 
told him you knew where Ava was, Alexa? Really? Abigail? <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. All right. God, no, where could she be? You gotta be a man. You gotta be a man.